a visionary vernacular road trip. Joining us now is curator Brad Cushman to tell us more about the folk art you'll be seeing. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for yeah. having me. All right, so for people who don't know, can you just explain a little bit about this exhibit? Sure. Um, it kind of is comprised of three different categories. Okay. Early American folk art, which is traditional wood carving, ceramics. Mm. Then we have self-taught art, is by artists who never had formal training and right. don't even necessarily think of themselves as artists, but have a desire to make. Ah. And then the other is outsider artists that kind of exist on the periphery. They're not in New York, they're not in Chicago, but they're creating work sort of on the edges and in the shadows of society. Okay, and so this exhibit, you said the first part of it ends uh, in a couple days, right? Well, October 24th, okay. the first part ends, and part two will extend through December 2nd. Okay, so people can still check this out then. Definitely. And where can they go if they want to see this? So the galleries are located at the Wingate Center of Art and Design on the main campus. It's a relatively new building, mm -hmm. um, and in the exhibition you'll th see things like a face jug, a bottle cap snake. Um, mm -hmm. They're real inventive, the way they okay. use materials oh, wow. um, and so I think that you and all the visitors will enjoy seeing the creativity of the artists. Yeah what do you hope people take away from this? I think what is exciting to me is people are driven to make things and mm -hmm. anyone can be an artist. And can these, they? Yes. <laughs> now does everybody make great art? No. Uh, good. There we go. All right. But anyone can go up to a piano and hit the C note. That's you know, true. Does that make everybody a musician? No. no. But yes. <laughs> people have a desire to communicate and mm -hmm. express themselves and these people have done it in their own unique way and I think that's what's exciting about the exhibition. Cool. Do you guys have any other um, exhibits coming up later this year? Or? We do. Um, once this cycle ends, mm -hmm. our seniors and graduate students get to have their time in the spotlight ah. and so their exhibitions will happen in late November. Okay. Um, our galleries change about every six to eight weeks okay. and it's free and open to the public so mm -hmm. we encourage people to come out and check out our new building and see all the art that we have That's in the building. exciting. Perfect. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Great. All right. I appreciate yes. it. Thank you very much. All right. Let's uh, check in now with Rance. Give a shout out to Jay.